The first Jews came to India 2000 years ago. Imagine this, sailing in King Solomon's the first ship fleet arriving at the shores of port city of Kochi in Kerala. Some reports suggest that it was after their temple was destroyed in Jerusalem that they found shelter and arrived in India. But Kochi was also a popular spice trade destination, so that is also considered one of the attractions. The first batch settled initially in the Krangadore district in Kerala. And India was now becoming a popular destination, but also for the Jews realizing who were facing persecution elsewhere across the world that India could become their safe shelter. The ruler of Kerala, Bhaskar Ravi I, is known to have given privileges to the Jewish community. Jews were also known to have assisted the king during the war on Sera kingdom by Raja Raja Chola. The community's skill in military and financial matters impressed the ruler, who even presented a copper plate to the community in their honor. Now, this copper plate is a protected archaeological artifact and the dates match to that of the king's reign, confirming about the influence of the Jewish community in India. Even after the advent of the British to the Malabar in the year 1795, the Jews continued to live in peace and prospered. Most of them were agriculturalists, warriors, traders, who later changed their trade to more fitting professions like lawyers, engineers, teachers and physicians. Jews even adopted local ingredients like coriander and curry leaf with chicken curry for their delicacies on special occasions. Now, the first synagogue in India was built somewhere around the 4th century by the Malabar Jews in Krangadore in Kerala. It stood there from 1344 to 1789 AD until, according to reports, Tipu Sultan's army destroyed it. There are many other synagogues that remain or have been restored in the past few years. Paradesi Synagogue in Kochi remains one of the oldest for now for the Jewish community. But what an irony today that the same Kerala where Jews first came and settled and prospered and lived in peace with all the people, the same state had rallies hosted inviting Hamas leader recently who asked for an uprising against Israel and against Jews. Meanwhile, the Jews also went on to settle down in other parts of the country like in Konkan, Bombay, now Mumbai. Calcutta, now Kolkata, Mizoram, Manipur and Delhi. Secular Indian rulers gave land to help them settle where they built synagogues, cemeteries, schools and professional setup, but always adapting to the Indian culture, never in confrontation with Indian values. No incidents of forced conversion, nor attempts to dominate over the natives. Jewish community is largely known in different categories. Ben Israelis in Western India, Malabar Jews that first settled in Kerala. There are also Kochi Jews. There are Baghdadis in Bengal, largely having fled persecution from Iraq and also from Syrian, Yemenite, Persian and Turkish origin. The community developed as a result of Jews who were forced to flee religious persecution in Muslim-majority lands to northwestern part of India during the British imperial era. There are also the Ney Menashe Jews of northeast India and the Bene Ephraims of Andhra Pradesh. Judaism is one of the oldest faith and the community has faced horrific persecution from their ancestral homeland where Israel now stands and from many other countries around the world too, from the Middle East to Europe including we all know facing the Holocaust. India remains the only country where the Jewish community has not met with persecution and may that safety always remain for them. Many Jews have left for Israel after the 1950s. For now, approximately 5,000 Jews currently live across India. In Delhi itself, there are about 10 Jewish families who are still living on. They organize occasional meetings at the synagogue which is in central Delhi. In 2017, when Prime Minister Modi was visiting Israel, I met with the members of the Jewish community. They told me about teachings in Torah. They showed me around the synagogue as well. So here's a glimpse of that report. When someone asked Rabbi Hillel to tell him in one sentence what is Torah, the Rabbi Hillel said, what is hateful and hurtful to you, do not do to others. It has the first five books of Moses. Who are some of the popular faces from the Jewish community in India? Artist Amrita Shergil, whose mother was Hungarian Jewish. Ruby Maya, by the name of Sulochana, was one of the first top movie stars in India. The first Miss India in 1947 was Jewish, Esther Victoria Abraham. Major General Jack Jacob, Indian Army veteran who led teams for liberation of Bangladesh in 1971 India-Pakistan war. David Sassoon was well-known businessman and a philanthropist in the 1800s. They are known to have set up libraries and value institutions in Maharashtra. Renowned Odyssey dancer Sharon Lowen is also a part of New Delhi's Jewish community. An American citizen, Sharon has been living in the capital for several years now. 
famous actress of yesteryears Nadira from the Baghdadi Jewish community. Now this one might come as a surprise to some of you. Famed Bollywood actor Aditya Roy Kapoor is also half Jewish from his mother's side Salam Aron who is also a former actor. Maharashtra is one state where most of the remaining visible population of the Jews live. In 2016, Maharashtra recognized Jews as a religious minority. The community has been urging the government at the center too to grant them minority status and add them separately in the census. Today, India is a second home to many Israelis, especially youngsters who wish to get a break from their mandatory defense forces training. So there are parts of India that are known as mini Israel. In Himachal Pradesh, for example, there are signages in Hebrew. There are delicacies that are specific to the Jewish community. The community has also built up in Dharam Court, for example. And that is just one place that I'm referring to. Arrived 2000 years ago to 2023, the Jewish community continues to be known in India as contributors, not as disruptors, for making India a more vibrant and a healthy place. Thank you for watching.